Hello out there, my name is Dronias and welcome back to Firewatch. Last time, um, after my outro, Delilah was, well, telling us something that she find out something not good. Uh, it seems I have cut her short, but let's see what she has to tell us. I'm excited. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing no. a few weeks back. So? I'm sorry, I, I'm not following you. Henry, our radios were tapped the entire time we talked about it. Maybe even your first day when you had the run-in with them. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Exactly. Fuck indeed. <laughs> we really need to get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> oh. Sorry. My mute button didn't work. Welp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were... We need to go to Wapiti Meadow. Um, I have an axe now, so that should be working out. Uh, which way do we go? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I thought by now I should have figured out how to, how to move around here. But, yeah, I didn't. So, uh... I uh, fiddled with the uh, with the video settings, with the recording settings. So it it should be better visuals, but oh god, am I going the right way? Probably. But yeah, the file size is uh, even larger than before. Now it's up to four gigabytes, so. Yeah, and I have to, I have to put that through, through editing and uh, render it out. Maybe, I. I, uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? Right. So, yeah, with a bit of editing... I mean, uh, this is this is totally uncut. Sometimes, uh, well, I tried to use the uh, VSDC for editing, getting used to getting used to the GUI and stuff like that. But yeah, to to make it better quality. Uh, Why is it lagging now? Oh man. To make it better quality, I, I tuned the settings a bit and now the file size is huge. 
I, uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure what I'm, what I'm doing, but, well, you need to try out. Maybe I will find a, a, a middle way. I just, uh, I, I looked at the videos, uh, at the files, and they looked uh, all right, and the sound is okay as well, so... Yeah, I guess it's okay. I just wonder, uh, I just wonder how big everything will be and in the end when it's rendered and how long it will take to render. I'm, uh, I'm a bit confuzzled in looking at looking at tutorials and uh, info every day but it's not easy so <laughs> I guess uh, it's kind of a struggle it always depends on the on the PC setup you have and my PC is well not the best surely not the best And yeah, it's it's confusing if you if you don't really know what you what you're doing. It's a bit it's a bit weird. But so far, nobody seemed to have a, a big issue with the quality. I mean, I would be happy to know if uh, if it's okay. Um, I changed the settings before episode 5 and uh, yeah should look even better now we'll we'll see when it's uploaded <laughs> just a binge binge gaming over here <coughs> and recording I smashed open the gate should I try to fix or hide this no screw it Okay then. Whoa! Ow! Oh shit, I hope I'm not allergic. I got stung by a bee. Okay. <laughs> is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess it shouldn't be an issue. Oh god, is it getting darker? So, Wapiti Station personnel. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he's on site from August 15 to October 15. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Oh. Okay. This is real suspenseful. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. They could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Can I shut it off? I guess that would be... They would, uh... Know about it pretty, pretty quickly. Is there aliens here? It's a dig side.
Okay. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that could also be a lie detector. Okay, it's saving. Well, there's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. And there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Why would something like this even be out here? Wouldn't it be easier to spy on people in a city? Somewhere you can blend into the background? Yeah, it's also a lot harder to get rid of problems if there are people around. Out here, you can just disappear. Thanks for that. How about I stay in my lookout and you do all the hiking around? Uh, no thank you. Haha. <clears throat> now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to. Oh man, what? This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us. Yeah, like us. Maybe it They're is us. Measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Let's see. Subject beacon, beacon frequency, sex, social role. Frequent departure from two folks area. Avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation. Conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell <laughs> you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. What? I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Uh, okay, 
this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Okay, something's in the tent. Black box. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? Since you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ooh. Oh, I'm so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Well, I guess this won't go too smoothly. Oh shit! Whoa! Whoa. Oh shit! Whoa. Hey, sh the bridge collapsed climbing out of here, and um, now it looks like there's smoke coming from the site. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. I have no idea what to do. We have a fire burning in the woods. The one thing Jesus I know Christ. how to respond to, and all of this shit has me wondering what the hell to do. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Right. Uh, let's see if I can hit pause when it's done loading. Right. Fucking. Wow. Okay. This is, this is getting really good. Right then. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this video here. Whew. Wow. Uh, I guess I didn't talk that much, but there was a lot of uh, stuff going on. Right, then uh, let's see what, what happens next. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really excited. So, uh, yeah. If you liked this video, nudge that little like button. If you didn't, there's a dislike button as well. Um, 
let me know about <coughs> what you liked. Sorry, what you liked or didn't like, didn't like uh, in the comments. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Until then, I'm logging out. <laughs>